you know, we go to the White House two years ago and everything changes after that. So, so talk me through that. When you guys went yeah. to the White House, was that something? Obviously, you went to the White House because you know you won the Commander in Chief's Trophy, and as a result, you get to go to the White House, meet the President. By the way, what what was that like? Surreal. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. That. I, I don't know what else tops that. I guess playing in the Army-Navy game itself, mm -hmm. probably my favorite football memory, but being in the Oval Office, talking with the president, definitely the best. And then the day that he said he was going to sign an executive order to let us go play. Right, so that's that, where I was going with the question. Ultimately, yeah. was that something that kind of just impromptu happened, that he he was asked the question, or did did you pull him aside and say, hey, Mr. President, I think I should <laughs> go to the NFL? How, what happened there? I'll tell you, and full credit to Elijah Riley, my co-captain, cornerback, he's – Got a heck of a player. He is a heck of a player. baller. So he he's gonna play somewhere for sure. But um, it's it's all uh, it was his his deal, you know. So we were in the Oval Office. I'm talking to the Vice President General Milley. Um, I'm like ten guys back. We're taking pictures. Like the President's mm -hmm. sitting at the desk. He's smiling. We're all just taking solo pictures. Elijah gets up there. I'm not really paying attention. I'm talking to the Vice President, and um, all of a sudden the President turns his head and says, "What?" And everyone's like, oh, no, so, like, someone said something. <laughs> what did he, what he say that that was not okay to be right, said in the like, office? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, he, so he looked and said, what would you say? And Eli says, yes, sir, we're not allowed to play yet. And like, we have to serve two years first. And what he had said when he went up to take a picture, I guess, is like, sir, you know, we'd love if you could help us get to the league. Because we want to serve, obviously. Like, we're going to do mm -hmm. our time. But, like, us having to go serve is harder for us to get in the league if we have to do two years first. So. Yeah, but well, I mean, you look at guys like Ali Villanueva, who's right. kind of like the poster child right now for Army football in the NFL, yep. all pro, one of the best players, if not the best player at his position. No doubt. And he did all of that after five years and three tours of Afghanistan. That's right. He's the anomaly. I don't think most players, uh, uh, you know, from any school, could take five years away from the game and then come back, let alone do a five-year Army career. In the Rangers. I mean, he in a Ranger, yeah. yeah. It, yeah it wasn't, he wasn't sitting behind a desk. He was out there on the front lines going right. nuts. And for him to come back and then make it to the NFL, quite the anomaly. So even with that two-year break, it's still a, a very hard challenge yeah. to play with the best players in the world. Right. So he, he basically said, sir, we'd love if you could sign a waiver. I guess he just kind of put it in his ear, and he said, I didn't even know that you – couldn't go play immediately. I thought that you could. And I'm like, no, sir, we have to serve two years. And uh, right then and there, he hit a little button, and his lawyer came in. And uh, he started talking to the vice president, said, I want to do this. I want to let these guys go play as soon as they graduate. And he told us right there, he's like, I'm going to do this for you guys. And our jaws on the floor like, oh, my gosh, this is happening. Dude, I'm getting chills just listening oh, to it, this. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen happen. I mean, he was just like that. 30 seconds, this guy's in the room saying, we're going to make this happen. And um, – we didn't really hear anything about it for like the next few months. We were mm -hmm. like, okay, maybe that was just a in the moment thing. He comes to the locker room, this Army Navy game. First thing he says is, "I told you boys, I'd do it for you." I'm like, yes, sir, you did. Wow. And here wow. We are. So this was back in the White House. This was after your junior seasons. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're going into your senior season. You're you're, you're working out during the summer, going into senior year. Do you let's just talk about you and Elijah. Did you guys have conversations and say like, hey? You know, things have kind of changed now. Now we might be able to play to get looks for the next level. Mm -hmm. yeah, did we that, had, that change your outlook for we how had you look at the season? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, so right now it's it's myself, Elijah, Connor Slomka, uh, Scott Flanick, our long snapper, Jackson Deaton, our guard, and uh, Ryan Velez, our free safety, working out as an athlete. So that's kind of the group that said, you know what, we got a shot maybe. So, like, we were having those conversations. But Elijah and I primarily, we were talking about it. And um, – yeah, I mean, it didn't really change how we prepared in any way. I mean, we were looking to win games, and mm -hmm. whatever happened, happened. There were scouts that were coming to practices throughout the year more so than there were in the past because there's always been a few that would come. Mm -hmm. Just uh, like, hey, in two years, give me a call. Right. But they knew that they we couldn't go immediately. So once that changed, I mean, there was a scout or two 